Yes. Autumn. Two months at normal temperatures. Ovulation shed. Confirmed. Lock. Confirmed. Let's do this here on Hogging Out. <laughs> What is going on, everyone? Joe from Hagen Outs. I hope you are having a great weekend. I'm having the best weekend so far this year. Reason being is autumn, ovulation shed, check, 63 days at normal temperature. The next day, which was this morning, locked with the AAA head sunburst. Now, autumn is an anaconda, 100% double head snow, azanthic, and also albino. And she's possibly, possibly het. Evans hypo. Now, since last year, Autumn produced the most eggs, most fertile eggs, and the most babies last year. Now, this pairing, if she produces as many eggs as last year, we're going to have some beautiful babies. I'm talking double A, triple A, Arctic, head sunburst, head azanthic as well. And out of brumation, she was 371 grams today. I weighed her after the lock. She's 398 grams. That's a good indication it was an ovulation shed. She picked up about 20, almost 30 grams. Reason being is, well, most likely she's building those egg follicles. And we got that lock the day after, which was this morning. And guys, she's going to blow up. She's going to blow up to about 500 grams. To be honest with you, it's probably going to be well over 500 grams. Now, before we get on with the awesome videos of the AAA head sunburst and autumn locking today, this morning, I show you some breeding behavior when I put them both together. And you know what? It's amazing to see the towel flicks. You can see that autumn is being very receptive when it comes to the male being introduced to her. Got them locking. They were locked and they were locked for about three and a half, four hours. Now let's get on with an update on Annie. Annie is doing incredibly well. She paired with Nirvana. Reason why I paired them again this year is that Annie produced some really amazing high expression Arctics last year. So I want to go with that. And she produced also a red phase anaconda and also a yellow, like a, a lemon phase um, anaconda female. And you know what? I was just like, you know what? Let me try this pairing this year to see if I could repeat that uh, type of polygenetic traits. Now, when Annie first locked on 213, 38 days at normal temperature, she was 282 grams. I weighed her today. She's at a whopping 368 grams today, guys. So I'm expecting uh, in about two weeks, she's going to be going through her pre-lay shed, about a week and a half, two weeks. And she's looking really good. Not going to lie. Now, a quick update on Syl. Syl is doing very, very good right now. She's pretty active, and she just started. She just started. I checked her belly today. She just started her pre-lay shed. Like I said last week, it would be about a week and a half to two weeks when she when she's going to have her pre-lay shed and, of course, lay those eggs within, hopefully, like she did last year, seven to ten days after her pre-lay shed. Again, out of brumation. So it was 314 grams. I weighed her today. 432 grams i tried to feed her today she did not want to feed and that's okay because that's good indication that she's she's ready to lay her eggs and she's going through her pre-lay shed right now so with all that being said the breeding season is looking really really good i would think a little better than last year so can we aim for 80 90 eggs if they all double clutch possibilities are there now, next year, 2025 and 2026, they're going to be my two big years incoming. Reason being is I'm going to have females that I raised uh, since last year that should be ready for next year. And I should have about seven or eight females next year to breed. And uh, I'm just looking forward to what I'm going to produce this year. I'm pretty excited. So, uh, And I know all of you are as well. All right, I'm going to shut up right now. Let's get on with the videos right now. All right, everybody. Uh, looks like autumn shed out this morning her ovulation shed so we're gonna pair her right now with the triple a head sunburst so she's a conda double head snow possible head to uh, evans hypo so let's uh what we're gonna do is just lift this take this out Ooh, she looks beautiful nice and bright let me take that off you girl all right let's get the triple a so there's the triple a head sunburst and you'll see him uh surfing her I'm like, this guy's like non-stop, so.
So there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this week's breeding update. It's looking really, really, really good here at Hagen Out. It was really nice to have two ovulation sheds from two females. And of course, Syl. It looks like I hit Syl's ovulation cycle perfectly. She blew up, like I said, 314 to 432 grams. I think she's at or around there. And uh, she's ready to lay those eggs here in the next two weeks. All right, everybody. You have a great week. I will see you in the next video. This is Joe from Hagen Out. I'm out. Cheers.